So don't let your shyness or your insecurity stop you if you've sensed the Lord really moving you to share. Or if you're not too shy like Kathy and you want to share right away, <clears throat> just remember to keep, keep it short and remember to uh, give it a little space, all you guys that are excited to share, so that people who, you know, it's like your pulse will quicken, the Lord might be uh, touching you, but you're scared and you want to, you know, you're, you just don't feel good. I want those who you like to share, kind of wait and let them feel nervous a little bit longer, you know, so they'll maybe get up and uh, not breathe a sigh of relief when you uh, beat them to the punch. Um, so let's, let's pray. Let's, uh, let's ask the Lord to come and speak through us to one another today. And let's pray, everybody. Lord, what a wonderful time it's been already worshiping you. Oh, Lord, we just long to be in your presence and hear from you, Lord. So, Lord, as we open this up to share today, um, maybe, Lord, you might put a Bible verse on somebody's heart. Even now, Lord, um, maybe uh, just a word of testimony, uh, maybe a song, maybe, Lord, um, someone's really struggling. They need prayer and, and uh, would like to come up for prayer. Lord, have your way. Um, and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Everybody say amen. 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 All right. Kathy. Uh, I want to give God all the glory and honor. Uh, I'm a child of the Most High, and he's on the throne. And uh, I want to thank God because I did come into financial freedom recently. I have an awesome blessing for come tomorrow, 8 o'clock in the morning. And I'll be out of debt, but I have to be moving. <laughs> I won't be in a low-income situation no more. <laughs> so uh, I just want to say uh, God does supply all your needs according to his riches and glory, Philippians 4.19. So, and you could do all things through Christ who strengthens. So what I want to give all the glory and honor to now I will be having an early retirement and be able to do more for the church. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> All right, yes. No more working for yeah. something, but for the Lord. <laughs> All right. Make it short, okay? I know one thing, Jesus working in my life. And uh, I really want to quit smoking, but I'm trying because my sister is praying for me. And she doesn't like when I'm smoking. She gets upset or she wants to cry. And, you know, she's telling the minister the truth because she loves me. She cares for me. And uh, she's always there for me. You know, if it wasn't for my sister, I won't be here. I'll be gone somewhere. I'll be gone. So you want to support her to quit smoking? Yeah, but I'm not ready. Mm -mm. You're not ready to quit? Mm -mm. Okay, how about if I pray that you would get ready? Get ready, yeah. Okay. And wait, 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 and another thing. Uh, will you all pray for my stomach? I've been really having problems with it. I don't know what's wrong. I'm really concerned. I'm scared. I might go to my doctor and see about it. Absolutely. You know, that's the only thing I could do. But um, I care for me, and I care for myself, you know, and I care for my sister and my brother. And my brother is a big brother of mine. He's heavy. He's everything to me, too. Okay. Amen. Right. Let's pray for glory, everybody. Thank you, Lord. If you just put your hands out forward, and we'll just pray for her, Lord. Um, First of all, Lord, we just pray for uh, glorious stomach problems, Lord. Oh, God, we just pray for your healing touch, dear Lord. Oh, Lord, we just pray that um, you would lead Gloria to do the right things, uh, that, um, Lord, to, to seek the help she needs. Um, 
as we pray for your healing process, dear Lord. And then, Lord, we pray about smoking. Lord, um, I just thank you for Gloria's honesty that she's not ready to quit, but she knows she needs to quit. So, Lord, we're just praying today that uh, you would put that desire in her to quit, Lord. That, uh, Lord, we, we know how hard it is, how, how really many times impossible for us in our own willpower. And so, Lord, we just pray for her. And for it is you who works in us to will and do your good purpose. So, Lord, we just pray for your work, for your will, your desire, Lord, to be birthed into glory, Lord. That desire to quit smoking, Lord, because uh, she knows it's unhealthy for her and her breathing and her health. So, Lord, we just pray for that desire to be birthed in her in Jesus' name. Everybody say amen. 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 All right. Thanks, Gloria. Thank you, brother. I love you. Love you, too. Hello. I'm Tatiana. I'm a true believer in Jesus Christ. Um, I just want to give thanks to the Lord for bringing my daughter. I don't want to put her on the spot because she'll kill me, but to church today and... Um, She's ready to give her life to Jesus Christ, and I'm just blessed for that. I know that I couldn't have got this far without God in my life. He has done remarkable things for me, and I truly believe that he's going to restore her and do remarkable things for her, too. So if we can all just, you know, she doesn't want us to put her on the spot. So if we can just pray for her, her name is Paris, and... I'm just grateful that she's here. I haven't seen her in a long time, and it's a blessing that the place to see her here is in the house of the Lord, and uh, it took a lot for us to get her here, but me and Walter went, and <laughs> we picked her up. She wasn't trying to come. We drove all the way to her and picked her up and brought her, so I'm just I'm grateful for that, and I have to have surgery on my hands, so if we could just pray that it all go well, because God put the physicians here for us, and I'm sure that they're here to heal us, so... And uh, that's it. And I just am grateful for all of you. Thank you. Let's pray, Let's pray for uh, Tatiana's hand here. Father, we, we thank you for Paris being here, Lord. Uh, forgive us for uh, kind of singling her out, Lord. But she is special to her mama. She's special, especially to you, dear God. So we give you thanks for her, Lord, being here today. Uh, pray you'll uh, join mother and daughter's hearts, Lord. Pray for healing in their relationship. And now, Lord, we pray for Tatiana's hand, O oh God. We pray for your divine healing touch, O oh God. Father, as she gets surgery this week, may it just go like, like you were doing it yourself, O oh God. And uh, we just pray for complete healing, Lord. We ask a blessing on her, and we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody say amen. 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 All right. Love you, baby. <laughs> Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Marilyn. For you, you that don't know, my father is watching with my stepmom in Houston, Texas, by the church app. And it's a, it's a blessing to, to be able to to have this part of the ministry for those. The title of this article from our Daily Bread is called The Apple of His Eye. A friend's baby was suffering seizures, so they sped to the hospital in an ambulance. Her heart racing as she prayed for her daughter. Her fierce love for this child hit her afresh as she held her tiny fingers, recalling how much more the Lord loves us and how we are the apple of his eye. The prophet Zechariah employs this phrase in his word to God's people who had returned to Jerusalem after the captivity in Babylon. He calls them to repent, to rebuild the temple, and to renew the hearts of love for the true God, for the Lord loves his people greatly. They are the apple of his eye. Hebrew scholars suggest this phrase from Zechariah 2 denotes one's reflection in the pupil of another's eye. I've always wondered what that phrase meant. Now I know. <laughs> With the word apple emerging, 
because it is a common spherical object. So with eyes being precious and fragile, they need protecting. And that's how the Lord wants us to love and protect his people by holding them close to his heart. The Lord who dwells in our midst pours out his love on us, even amazingly, far more than a loving mother who does all she can for an ailing child. We are the apple of his eye, his beloved. If you happen to be the senior pastor of a church, you are the apple of his eye. If you're part of a pastoral staff and a local church, you are the apple of his eye. If you are a ministry leader of any kind, God has pointed out a very specific niche in your life to minister to the local body, you are the apple of his eye. If you are a steady force, a congregational member, you know, a pillar in the church who is finding their way to service, just like myself, you are the apple of his eye. Hear the voice of this truth, maybe for the very first time. If you are on the block, one more day removed from an addiction, you are the apple of his eye. If you are on the block, maybe one more day away from an abusive situation, you are the apple of his eye. And if you are on the block, maybe one more day from a level of abandonment, you are the apple of his eye. If he calls you by name, his beloved, it doesn't matter what your circumstances are in life. You are the apple of his eye. Thanks, James. Okay. Who here knows Fabulous? Who knows that I'm Fabulous's daughter? Yeah. Fabulous Junior. Uh, I'm here today to ask for prayer for my mother. She's having a surgery tomorrow on her leg, which we're hoping will take care of the skin cancer on there. So I'd like to ask for prayer for her today. Come on up, Mom. Come on up, Mom. Come on up, Mom. Come on up, Mom. <laughs> That's right. It's been kind of an ongoing issue that hasn't been wanting to be cured. Are you sure? We're going to have a lot of people come up and pray for you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. A lot of people love you here, Phyllis. Yeah. They love the cookies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that too. Amen. Yeah. Mm. Let's pray, everybody. Let's let's pray. Father, we come before you. We humbly kneel before your throne, almighty God. You see us here, Lord. You see our, our love for your daughter, Phyllis, Lord. And uh, you see the longing of our heart, Lord, to see her be healed, dear Lord. Lord, we're aware she's not a spring chicken anymore. Uh, and, and one day she's going to be with you, but Lord, we we need her here, Lord, and uh, she's such a blessing. So we just pray, God, for your divine touch, Lord. And we just pray for your healing, dear Lord Jesus. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Somebody else. Okay, so mine's going to be really, really quick. I just want my bragging rights. Um, I'll have a year sober in two days, and I'm like wow. so thankful to God for that. Um, without God, I never would have, never would have gotten here, ever. So I, I praise God for, for my sobriety. <laughs> Somebody else. Naomi, we'll get you right after this, okay? It's too late, you can't back out now. Hi. Good morning. I'm the child of the king. I, um, I want to share something. I want to share a vision with you, but it's too wonderful and awesome to describe. Uh, I've been serving the Lord, and I've had my... What do you call it? Um, uh, what do you call it when you fall back? Oh, backsliding. Well, yes. My backslidings were very, um, I was, it hurt me. It hurt me a lot that I had this police car. Through the years, um, I've been serving the Lord for 20 years. I was going to take my life, but the Lord didn't see, saw to it that I wouldn't because of my children, and my son and my daughter gave their heart to the Lord because I placed them in his hands. I mean, I wasn't in charge with, of them anymore. They were his. But what I want to say is that I had a vision the other day. I don't know how to describe it, but uh, I had heard about the grace of God through Jesus Christ, but it some, somehow it just wasn't for me because I was such a, you know, um, I was such a human being, <laughs> to put it that way. <laughs> and he gave me a vision, and um, I'm not just going to describe all of it, but I was sitting there in my room, and I was thinking, and all of a sudden I saw, you know, the the scripture about the adulterous woman. Well, I wasn't an adultery, but I was still feeling. Uh, so um, I saw and I went, why was Jesus writing on the ground? But in my vision, I saw myself walk into it, into the vision. And I saw the eyes of Jesus. And I've never seen this, this uh, look before because I had received looks from my, since growing up until, you know. And um, there was such love, such pureness. There was no condemnation. And I have never felt, I have never felt uncon uncondemned. I had never felt that. But I looked like I had tripped into his eyes and like he was, you know reaching my spirit, and all of a sudden I felt all this condemnation, all these looks from people that have been growing up and everything. The, the, the like, um, oh my God, it's speaking. Like scales, like coming off. Oh yeah. They just came off completely. And that happened like a month ago. I want to praise God through Jesus Christ that, that I was finally, I, I feel free. I feel pure. I feel blessed. I don't know. I'm, I know that. I don't know. I'm just. I'm not good at talking too much. But I just. I'm just. I just want to share this with you, everybody that he can free us of all condemnation. And but the beauty in his eyes, I will never forget. I will never, never, as long as I live. And when I'm with him, I know I'm going to see that. This is such beauty in his eyes. I, I can't describe it. I guess it's like. I just want to keep it here. And 
Thank you all for listening. Let's go ahead and pass communion. And if somebody else wants to share while communion's being passed, come on up. Good morning, church. Good morning. I just want to read a little um, passage out of Psalm 34. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. A poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. You got to trust in the Lord. He will save you. He will love you. He gives you mercy. And we are the apple of his eye. Yes, sir. He loves us tremendously. And don't be afraid to accept his love. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I just want to say something real quick. Um, hi, everybody. My name's Shane. Uh, I'm not from here. I'm from Indiana, originally from New York. Um, I was married for a year and a half. My wife killed herself six months ago, back in October. During that time, uh, before that, I was really bad on drugs. I was addicted to Suboxone really bad and all kinds of other opiates. I was in and out of jail. I just, I had a bad life. And when I met her and got married, everything was better until what happened. And ever, ever, after she was gone, uh, something told me Something inside of me told me to just not do it anymore. And, you know, I started going to church more. I started praying to God. And you know what? I have not had cravings for any kind of drug in six months. I have not touched a drug in six months. I'm completely clear. I mean, stuff's still hard, but I feel a lot better now. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. That for 10 years, I was on drugs. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. Thanks, brother. Yeah. Naomi? Yeah. I want to get up. No, I'm just kidding. No. Um, let me. Let me breathe. Okay. Um, I'm not used to sharing um, sharing things that God has done for me. Um, sharing what I'm going through. Um, but the other day, I just, God has just been putting things on my heart that I do need to share, whether I'm healed from it or not, or um, just everything. Because I'll sit there and go, oh, I'm good. I'm, thank you, Lord. And, but he has other people that need to hear that. And so I'm really not, like, good at that. And so um, I just wanted to share just a little bit. Um, but just dealing with, uh, I do, I've been dealing with a lot of emotions and with my history, my family, bipolar, depression, um, it just like, I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to be okay, I'm going to be free, I'm going to break these chains, I am not that way. And so anyways, I've just been going through up and down and just seeing this, you know, up and down, up and down and just like, late, these last few months was, I was dealing with anger and just like, this is not me, God, I, I mean, I need you, like, I, it just was not going away. And, you know, I was, like, covering it up and being joyous and, you know, doing everything, getting up and saying, it's going to be okay today, you know, and smiling. But inside, I'm just, like, crying out, you know, and just, like, and it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. Anyways, but um, the other night, I was just praying, and um, I was, like, all night, six nights, uh, I just, one of those nights where I just needed to pray. God said, pray, pray, pray. And I prayed for every single thing and things I was going through and family. And I just said, God, I really, 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 really need a word. And I really, I've never in my life experienced a direct word from me, just for me and God. And, you know, so I just said, give me a word. Show me where I'm going. Show me my path. Show me guidance. Help me. Um, just just know that you're there and um, just where you're leading me. But anyways, um, I got a call the next day from this lady that helped decorate, I'm in Kaya, so she helped decorate our rooms. And she was like, I'm, Naomi's really heavy on my heart. And my friend is speaking tomorrow, and I really believe this word's for her. And so I, I go there, and 
I, every single word that she spoke, her testimony, was my life. Every word. And she, God will show me, she's me in a couple of 20 years. If I keep, just God keeps showing me. So he sort so of showed me how um, amazing and, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, but anyways, um, how amazing and how where he's leading me, um, word for word, every single thing I've never in my life, like I said, felt a word. She got just staring at me and, and just, just, you just knew that was, that word was for you. And um, just show me a glimpse of my future of where he's taking me and where he's leading me and words of how to deal with this and how to, um, how, the, just the power of God. And anyways, I just want to know that like, you know, I'm very, very happy and goofy, but um, I do have, <laughs> um, you know, things that I fight and um, I'm just thankful and I know I don't get to, I don't share a lot, you know, in my testimony and God shows me that you need to, not for yourself, but for people that do go through the same thing. And so thank you for listening to me. Um, I'm trying to cut it short because I could talk long, <laughs> but, um, and I just want to know that God is amazing. And I never, like I said, received this word is going to live with me for so long. I mean, like, I'm just really, really just ready to keep going and keep fighting and see what the journey takes me. And thank you. <laughs> keep it short. Sorry. Amen. Yes. Give her a hand, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I, there was a theme today. Um, I don't know if you heard it, but just how much the Lord loves each and every one of you. I mean... And that vision of the pureness of his eyes looking right into your soul, right into your spirit. Um, and all you see is love from him to you. Uh, I wanted to read, before we do communion, a verse that the Lord put on my heart. And it really... Uh, It says, uh, um, let me see if I can find it here. In chapter 12 of Hebrews, verse 11, it's talking about God loving us so much that he disciplines us. And listen to what it says. No discipline seems pleasant at the time but painful. I was thinking, man, Lord, um, I want it just to be, you know, just a f kind of floating in your love and just kind of this warm, fuzzy feeling all the time. <laughs> but he loves us enough to discipline us because he wants us to become all he designed us to become and, and bring us out of all of our bondages all of the things that are destroying our lives. And he loves us too much to leave us where we're at. But no discipline at the time seems pleasant. Can I hear an amen? amen. But painful. Can I hear an oh man? Yeah. yeah. It's painful to be disciplined. But listen to the promise he says here. He says, later on, however... It produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. So stay under that discipline. Stay under that work of God. Don't escape it. Even if it's painful, know how much he loves you and he's just trying to bring you to freedom. And if you get through it, you'll have a harvest of righteousness and peace. The peace of God will rule your life. So trust him enough in his great love for you today to let him take you through whatever he's taken you through, even if it's painful at the time. And remember, as we take communion, what he went through to purchase us as his own children. For I received from the Lord that I, what I also passed on to you, the Lord Jesus. On the night he was betrayed, he took the bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. 
Can you say, it was for me? Say it like you believe it. It was for me. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's take of the bread, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant. In my blood. Do this whenever you drink it. In remembrance of me. I will remember. The blood you shed. Yes Lord. Let's take the cup together brothers and sisters. Would you all stand? Can you say thank you, Jesus? <laughs> Let's pray. Oh, Lord, what a wonderful, wonderful time for us to come together and be reminded by everyone that shared how amazingly great your love is for us, Lord. So much love that we can pray for each other and encourage each other because we're inspired by your spirit. So much love, Lord, that we can allow discipline in our life and go through it, Lord. Not questioning your motives because there's no condemnation in you, but that you only want what's best for us. Lord, um, let us treasure these times in our hearts today, Lord. And love you, love one another, and be there to encourage each other. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Everybody say amen. 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 God bless y'all. You're dismissed.